Interesting timing for one particular event in the district this weekend. A cannabis expo took place just two days after recreational marijuana became legal in D.C. Rick Reeve is live in Northwest with details. Rich, a lot of people talking about a budding business. Uh, yeah, Kimberly, that's right. And as you said, this is the first marijuana-related expo since legalization. Uh, it was a sold-out event, a packed room. A lot of people talking about the new law, but also about making money. Washington, D.C. based. Uh, accepting this is no ordinary trade show. Going green, so. There's no trace of THC. The Comfy Tree Cannabis Academy. This will actually be ground zero of what becomes the cannabis industry. A Michigan company is sponsoring this event. They don't have the paraphernalia and lights and teach people how to grow. It's a beautiful thing. No actual marijuana sold here, at least that we could see. But two days after legalization in D.C., pot-related gear, clothing, even instruction manuals are up for sale. Do you ever think you'd be standing in like a marijuana expo <laughs> in the District of Columbia? Never, ever, ever in a million years. Two ounces or less are now legal in the district. It's prompting an all-new home rule debate. D.C. is the only city in the country that has to go to Congress for its budget. Some Republican lawmakers are not happy about the new law. There's no way to implement this without spending money. Uh, and so when you do that, uh, there, there certainly uh, will probably be consequences. They can go and lobby you know, the Appropriations Committee. They can deauthorize funding. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser says the new law is perfectly legal, but the voters have spoken. Allow me to really freely move as a business and people take me seriously and not just as a, you know, uh, uh, somebody who's just, you know, smoking pot all the time on, on the couch. D.C. voters overwhelmingly uh, passed Initiative 71, so the will of the voters should uh, be number one. Now, most people at the expo believe that the debate will die down, but an interesting concept, cannabis as a business. You know, we spoke with one guy from Colorado. He says his state has earned 20 to $40 million in tax revenues from sales of legal marijuana. In Northwest, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News.